Hello, Kulas. Welcome back to Viva Barca, the home of everything Barcelona, where we are going to be discussing on some interesting developing stories. We are going to start with Rafinha, as Barcelona have reportedly been asked to shell out 55 million euros to sign the lead United attacker. Then, secondly, we are going to be talking about Francisco Trincao, as it has been reported that the 22 year old winger is pushing to leave Barcelona but manager Javi wants him to stay. We are also going to be discussing on that report. So guys, as we get right into those stories in more detail, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, if you are a lover of FC Barcelona, give the video a like and make sure to watch the video right up to the very end. Barca, Barca, Barca. With Usman Dembele on the verge of leaving Camlo in the summer, Barcelona have stepped up their efforts to sign Rafinha. The Leeds United winger has emerged as one of the top targets for Barca and the club's desired replacement for Dembele. Barcelona are said to have a deal placed with Rafinha, with a player reportedly agreeing personal terms with the club. Barca have an excellent relationship with his agent Deco and the player remains keen on joining the project at Barcelona. However, according to Mundo Deportivo, Leeds United's successful escape from the wrath of relegation is proving to be quite costly for Barcelona. Rafinha had a clause in his Leeds contract that would allow him that would have allowed him to leave Elan Road for a fee of just 25 million euros in the event of the club's relegation to the championship. In a curious turn of events, it was Rafinha who played a, cru a crucial role in helping Leeds United retain their top flight status, notably scoring in the final day victory over Brentford. With Leeds United remaining in the Premier League, they are adamant about keeping hold of the Brazilian. They are holding out for a fee of around 55 million euros, which makes the operation quite tricky for Barca. The Catalans are not in a position to spend anything over than over more than 35 million euros on an individual. Hence, the Spanish giants are likely to negotiate with Leeds and aim to lower that overall fee. The club are open to including a few players in that deal, with Oscar Mingueza being one of the candidates. They are aware of Leeds' interest in the defender, although his inclusion in the deal is unlikely to have a drastic impact on the overall equation. Then on to the next story of discussion, the future of a certain Francisco Trincao is under extreme scrutiny. On one hand, although Xavi is willing to give the young winger a chance, the 22-year-old is now prioritizing the move back to his native Portugal, with Sporting Lisbon being the most likely destination. It is no secret that Sporting are chasing Trincao for a reported loan move that would include a non-mandatory purchase option. Spanish news outlet Sport believes the man behind the move is their current manager Ruben Amorim, who rates Trincao very highly. All this because it was under Amorim himself that Trincao made the best of his senior team call-up. During the 2019-2020 season, Trincao scored 9 goals across all competitions and this is exactly when Barcelona came knocking on the doors. As of today, Barcelona has no problem in sanctioning a permanent sale, but Xavi seems to have other ideas. As reported by Sport, the manager wants to give Trincao a shot by adding him to the pre-season tour. If everything, I mean everything goes well, Barca will consider keeping Francisco Trincao for next season. However, since the player is aware of the competition in his position, he wants to return to Portugal in search for more minutes. It's important to understand Barcelona's position in all this. A few months ago, the team wanted to use Trincao as a make way to continue with Adama Traore beyond the recently concluded season. The plan, however, hasn't worked out well for everyone involved as neither has Traore managed to convince Barca nor has Trincao done enough for Wolf to push for a permanent move. Now, Wolf have the option of making Trincao's um, deal permanent for about 30 million euros but the Premier League side has no interest in spending this much capital and so the immediate plan for the player is to return to Portugal where he can play a leading role which is very much unlikely at Barcelona. So guys with that we have come to an end of this episode thanks a lot for watching hope you did enjoy the video and also hope you did subscribe if you haven't please make sure to do so so you always stay in touch with the latest in FC Barcelona here on Viva Barca until next time it's bye for now. Awesome.